All right, what is up, guys? We are back with the Promised Neverland Chapter 60, uh, Goldie Pond. Um, I'm excited, man. We're finally out of the bunker, and um, hopefully we can get some things rolling. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it should be exciting. All right, so Emma and Ray are gone. Man, I hope they're fine. They are. It's those two we're talking about. Yeah. More to the point, stuff is getting real for us, too. They were such a great help for everyone, but now it's all up to us. That's right. It's those two we're talking about. We gotta do what we can. I really like how it's centric on Gilda and Dawn um, in the bunker, but I almost feel like something bad is gonna happen down there, or like they're gonna find something maybe that the guy like hid away, um, because I would sincerely doubt that it's just going to be them in the bunker just kind of hanging out and, you know, eating and being, being lax, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they, they have to find something down there. Um, man, I don't know. Uh, believe in our friends, leave it to them. You got to do our part too. We can't afford to waste energy worrying. <laughs> you got them too running. <laughs> Pick up the pace, will you? He's going full speed ahead right out the door. <laughs> Um, no joke, he's really fast, and he's lugging around that heavy gun, too. I guess adults are just on another level. Kids suck at this. He acts like a spoiled kid, though. They're slow, but still, they are managing to follow me. Um, we gotta clear this area as fast as we can. There's nothing particular dangerous, particularly dangerous around, though it's not really safe here either, because it's just like a flat land, so like... If there are demons in this area, it'd be so easy for them to see you guys. So, yeah, it makes sense that you want to get out of this area as fast as possible. Um, beyond the wastelands, there won't be any more areas that they conveniently avoid. Conveniently avoid? Oh yes, I recall Sung Chao saying something. As long as you journey within the wastelands, the chance of meeting demons is nil. When you can go ahead safely, don't waste time, just go. I don't want to loiter around the shelter entrance like a freaking idiot, too. Um, first, we'll head straight east and leave the wasteland. The search for Minerva. The journey to AO863 really starts once we get there. Alright. Um, look at this map. There's Gracefield. Um, this shelter is BO632 here. Alright, where is Gracefield? Um, okay. Alright, so they're, they're like a pretty good distance away from Gracefield. Um, therefore, AO863 must be around here. Goldie Pond. A lake? This map is old and not very precise. All those X marks along the way. It's full of demon settlements, isn't it? AO863. So, w wait a second. So... Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of X markings around Goldie Pond, that's for sure. Um, is there anything out there? Will Minerva even be there? I have no idea, and it's pretty clear that leaving the wastelands is very dangerous. The journey to B0632 was probably kid's uh, play compared to this. But there's something waiting for us over there. In B0632, we found this shelter. Come to me if you need help. Minerva prepared all this for our sakes, a safe place for cattle children, <clears throat> and all this information. So AO863 has to have something for us too. Go beyond living here in peace. That must be a lead about how to get into into the human world. Go beyond living here in peace. Okay. Um, let's go. It's the only way to be sure. That alone is already worth it, I think. <clears throat> and there they go running. No matter how dangerous it is, and even in the end there's nothing there, I want to go. I want to see it. Right on. Well then, we succeeded in dragging along this guy. Now we have to stay smart. Don't lower your guard. Don't let him kill us. No matter how hard he pushes us, don't let go. Strength, experience, the playing field, the advantage is all his, but victory will be ours. The control is ours. Um, and with this man as a guide, I and Emma will defy all odds and reach AO 863 alive. We will get our hands on what's there and return to them safely. We must do this for the sake of the future um, of our family. Dude, I, I said this last chapter too, but I just love their like trench coat outfits. I love it so much. Anyway, 
is what they must be thinking. The poor, poor kids. Oh, that was that was his dialogue. Wait a second. Inter I really like how he did. Interesting. That's cool. All right. So with this man as our guide, I and Emma will defy all odds. Um, for the sake of the future for our family. That's, I really like how he did that. That's cool. Is what they must be thinking. The poor kids. Gotta hand it to them though. These kids ain't joking around. They're manipulating me. By hanging their own lives on the line as bait. It would take a lot of work to shake them off. Just dispatch them. It's easier outside. And with these two down, it'd be a lot easier to retake the shelter. What to do? Take up this chance and murder the hell out of them? I kind of wanted to show them the hell of the real world and shut them up. But I mean, you can't kill them or else Hilda will take out the shelter herself. Um, let both of them die and she's gravely hurt. Hurry up. Uh, help her right now. Come up with some lame ass excuse like that and take back my shelter. That was my plan. But that glasses girl became a huge pain in the ass. Um, as it is, I guess I should guide them to the real thing up to the point where that hell uh, eats one of them alive. It's decided which of you will die alone out there. But I have to say, you can't let it from what Hilda was saying. You can't you have to both of them have to come back alive, basically. Um, so, yeah, you can't let any of them die. Um, that was that was her deal, right? That. Um, yeah, her deal was that if if one of them is missing, that she's going to take out the shelter. So he can't like all of this thinking that he's doing is just like going to waste, basically. Um, all right. So page 18. After Gilda's ultimatum, he's sure plotting to kill one of us, but not both. Yes, but rather than killing, I think he's planning to let one of us die. I feel like he's someone who can commit murder if needed, but would prefer to avoid it. I feel like deep down he's not a bad person. He's in pain, but living by himself, he's lost all hope of overcoming it. Um, our main goal is to reach AO863 without dying, but if it goes well, I also want to use this trip to get to know him, to talk to him openly without schemes. So which one of you should I kill then and where? That's too naive. Perhaps he was a nice guy once, but not now. I'm not letting him hurt Emma or the rest of our family. If it comes down to it, I myself am ready to kill him. Alright. And where are we? Uh, not a bad place. Or not a bad pace. The wasteland's done. Okay. Uh, we will aim for a four-day trip. Our goal is AO863 Goldie Pond. If you were to fool around and waste time, you could also go through the super long winding track, which takes three weeks, but it is comparatively easier and safer. But I don't want to, but I don't want to, out of the question. Get some water down your throats. First comes this forest. It's where the packs of man-eaters nest. They see you, you die. Let's go and clear before it's sunset. Man-eaters <laughs> man nest. The final line between life and death. Interesting. I, I really, I'm really digging it so far. Like, just um. All right, so we're out of the wasteland, and now we're going into this this um this forest where man eaters are just crawling about. Um. Yeah, I, I like. I really, I really like it because it just feels like they're at a disadvantage. You know what I mean? Like, um. Yeah. It just feels like, you know, like, they're the ones that are, like, the hunted. Even though they have, like, guns and Emma has a bow and arrow, like, I still feel like they're at the disadvantage here. Um, I mean, just looking at those man-eaters. So, yeah, I'm really interested to see where we go on from here. Um, and that we've actually made some, like, significant progress, it feels like, you know what I mean? Like, we... We got out of the wasteland pretty quickly, but now, you know, like, the ball is starting to roll on AO863, um, which is good. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's that's basically it for the chapter. Um, yeah, I mean, not too much besides the guy wanting to, um, his plan is to take out um, or to let one of them die. Um, Ray saying if it comes down to it, he'll kill him before that happens. Um, 
I'm trying to think what else. There was something else. Oh, yeah, and then Emma... I think it was Emma who said it, that she wants to use this opportunity to get to know him better, um, which I think is very important. Like, I want to know, like, what did she say exactly? Like, she can tell that he's he's holding something inside himself. Um, what did she say exactly? I feel like deep down he's not a bad person. He's in pain, but living by himself, he's lost all hope of overcoming it. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just, that's kind of like, that's kind of the same vibe I get from him too. Like, like at, at heart, he's just kind of like a child. So like, I never really see him as like a bad person, like kind of like what Emma was saying. So like, I'm really interested to see like, what is his backstory? <clears throat> why, why has he turned into this, this guy that has lost all hope? Um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically it, guys, um, for the chapter. Like I said, I'm glad things are starting to move. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.